Hey guys, it is Danny, and welcome to this update video on the tropics. And so in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the eastern Pacific. We have a disturbance there that is likely to develop into the next tropical cyclone for that hurricane season. And over in the Atlantic, we will be talking about conditions that are currently there, as well as the potential for us to have development before the end of this month or further before the end of the hurricane season. And so before I go into details, All right, so let us start off with the Eastern Pacific. And so we have a disturbance over there right now. As you can see, it is highlighted in red, and that means the chance is high for development. And so as of right now, it is given a high 90% chance to potentially develop into a tropical cyclone during the next five days and through the next 48 hours, a 40% chance. So it is seeming likely that we will have development of this disturbance here. And so the next name to be used for the Eastern Pacific hurricane season is Rick. So if we have this developing into a tropical storm or potentially even a hurricane, it will acquire the name Rick. And fortunately, we're seeing here that it is going to be remaining offshore of Mexico. However, all the moisture that is associated with it might go on shore and result in some inclement weather conditions. So please be aware of that if you're in portions of Mexico but for the most part as of right now this is not expected to be a direct threat to land and so we could have this potentially becoming a depression maybe by the weekend or somewhere around that time and so now let's go ahead and take a look at it on satellite so here we have it quite a bit of moisture is associated with this system here so portions of the coast of Mexico are likely experiencing rainfall or some sort of inclement weather as a result of this disturbance making its way to the west and so we're seeing that it is not organized at all right now but as time goes by we're expecting that it is going to look a lot better and we could eventually have this developing and so now let's go ahead and hop over into the atlantic basin so let us take a look at a wide satellite view of the basin so we're seeing here that things are pretty quiet in terms of tropical development and so quite a bit of moisture was in the vicinity of the northwestern Caribbean over the last couple of days but most of that moisture has dissipated but we do have that small area uh, of showers and thunderstorms portions of the Yucatan and maybe northeastern Belize are probably experiencing some rainfall as a result of that but for the most part the basin is pretty quiet right now uh, in terms of tropical activity and so there are no marked disturbances by the national hurricane center so i haven't uploaded for probably a week now until you're seeing this video of course and so why have things been so quiet well we have the main culprits which are the wind shear as well as the saharan dust so let us take a look at these two factors that influence our tropical cyclones all right, so we have the wind shear map up first, and so we have the different colors that indicate the favorability of the shear. So we have the green, that means favorable, the yellow, that means neutral, and the red, that means unfavorable. So as of right now, we mainly have unfavorable shear extending across most of the Atlantic Basin. Yes, we have some spots of neutral and favorable shear, but it is mainly unfavorable shear that's there. And on top of that, we don't really have a lot of disturbances or waves that are going to be making their way into these little pockets of favorable wind shear but if we potentially have things becoming a little bit more favorable probably uh, in the Caribbean especially because this is the time of year where we have systems emerge from the South Caribbean and make their way up to the north so we have to watch the Caribbean uh, for probably the rest of this month and going into next month as well for any potential development. But as of right now, we don't have any disturbances in that region. So it's mainly the shear that has been so impactful on the environment where we not have any disturbances. And so now let's go ahead and take a look at these Saharan dust. So we have the different colors that indicate how dense the dust is. And so we have the light yellow that means uh, not much dust, not very dense in those regions. But as we head to the orange, the red, that pink shade, that is when we have a lot of dust present. And so, and so dry air inhibits moisture and moisture is what our tropical cyclones need in order to develop and intensify. So without all that, then we really won't have anything. So we see that 
across the main development region, we have a lot of Saharan dust making its way westward. It's just arriving at some of the Caribbean islands, and so it is likely to keep moving westward. So islands of the eastern Caribbean are likely to be blanketed by the Saharan dust, and this is going to result in some hazy skies. And if the dust is very dense, then even further impacts are likely, such as allergic reactions, guys. So please be mindful of that. But we're not seeing a very, very dense plume of dust that is going to be making its way by. And so also expect a decreased rainfall because, of course, this helps to inhibit moisture. So across most of the main development region, we have all this Saharan dust. So whenever we have waves out there or so, we have the dust just taking away the moisture from our systems, allowing them to eventually dissipate. So that is why we haven't seen much going on out in the Atlantic in the main development region, guys. But we do have GFS hinting towards some potential development taking place. And so first off, this is not guaranteed to happen, but I've seen the model hinting towards it probably for a day or two now and so i just thought that i talk about it and it is potential development by the end of this month so let us go on to see what the model is expecting all right so this is a map that shows the isobars and the isobars are lines of equal pressure and so when you see them being in a circular manner with the pressure below 10 13 millibars that indicates a low pressure system that can be or tropical cyclones so that is what we're looking for here and so here we have a 1003 millibar low pressure system in the vicinity of the eastern caribbean and this is by thursday the 28th of october so we don't see the isobars which are the black lines really come in very close together but we do see that increased moisture in the vicinity of the eastern caribbean and so let us go out further and see what the model is forecasting and so by monday Monday, the 1st of November, here we have GFS showing a 973 millibar low pressure system to the north of the Leeward Islands. And so this is potentially a hurricane at this point with this pressure. And as we head further out to Thursday, the 4th of the month, here we have a 957 millibar low pressure system. So GFS is expecting uh, potentially a major hurricane as you're going to be ending October going into November and so yesterday the model was showing that we would have the system developing in the Eastern Caribbean and then somehow making its way into the South Caribbean and lingering in that region but now here we have the model showing that it is not going to be staying in the Caribbean but making its way out into the open waters of the Atlantic so we have to wait and see what's going to be happening guys again this is not guaranteed to happen and we don't really have a lot of other models hopping onto this happening but of course things can happen and we have to wait and see what the eventuality is going to be but as of right now as i said we don't have any marked disturbances by the national hurricane center but things can happen during the next couple of days to the next few weeks that we have that we have left of the hurricane season there's just one name left on the list so will we have one to be any used so we have to wait and see what the eventual outcome is going to be as we're going to be heading into the rest of this hurricane season and so guys that is really it for this updated video and if you found it to be quite informative please give a thumbs up and of course you can share your thoughts with me in the comments or as a question i will try to respond as best and as soon as i can and just remember to always be wise and i will keep you posted once necessary